In everything we do, we are creating a culture that protects freedom and that includes religious freedom. As I said on Tuesday in the House chamber, in America, we don't punish prayer. We don't tear down crosses. We don't ban symbols of faith. We don't muzzle preachers. We don't muzzle pastors. In America, we celebrate faith. We cherish religion. We lift our voices in prayer. And we raise our sights to the glory of God. Before a single skyscraper rose up in New York City, thousands of poor American families donated all they could to build the magnificent St. Patrick's Cathedral. When Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon, he said, Houston, I would like to request a few moments of silence. Then he read from the Bible. At every stage, our nation's long march for civil rights was inspired, sustained, and uplifted by faith, prayer, and devotion of religious believers. To protect faith communities, I have taken historic action to defend religious liberty, including the constitutional right to pray in public schools. But I also recently took executive action to stop taxpayer dollars from going to colleges and universities that spread the poison of anti-Semitism and bad things about Christianity. Last year at the United Nations, I was honored to be the first president to host a meeting of religious freedom. It was based all on religious freedom. That was the first meeting of its kind ever held at the United Nations. There I called upon all nations to combat the terrible injustice of religious persecution. And people listened. Yesterday, our administration launched the International Religious Freedom Alliance, the first ever alliance devoted to promoting religious liberty. It was something, really something. More than 25 countries have already joined our campaign. All of us here today reaffirm these timeless truths. Faith keeps us free. Prayer makes us strong. And God alone is the author of life and the giver of grace. Religion in this country and religion all over the world, certain religions in particular, are under siege. We won't let that happen. We are going to protect our religions. We are going to protect Christianity. We are going to protect our great ministers and pastors and rabbis and all of the people that we so cherish and that we so respect.